So Simon, this one uh, kind of escalated quickly for you, didn't uh, it? Uh, yeah. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. I've been in the USA for about a year, and I've been collecting Halo left, right, and center. Give me Halo straight into my veins. I love the stuff. Mega Constructs has been particularly fruitful. I've got hold of so many sets over the last year. A lot I'm taking back to England. In the previous episode, I showed off like what I've been sort of curating as my best bits, but. The craziest thing is I kind of fell off the deep end with Jazzware, and I didn't expect to. I was interested in Jazzware, I respect Jazzware, but I don't have the space, I don't have the money. <laughs> it just wasn't part of my agenda, I was like, I just need to focus on Mega, but I started and I kind of got a little addicted, and I'm okay, I'm, 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 I'm clean now, I'm, I can admit that. I'm actually not clean, I just bought a load more. But I did buy a lot of jazzware, and it started uh, pretty simply. There were a lot of Christmas deals in 2021, so I bought a lot of jazzware, just like, to review. I thought, hey, I just, uh, I'll get some cheap stuff to review. I started with things like the uh, Master Chief versus Brute uh, Chieftain 2-pack, and the Jaeger Adomni versus Spartan Mark 5B, and then I took a break. But then I bought the uh, Spartan Collection June, and the Spartan Collection Yoroi, and then suddenly, I was like, well, I may as well complete Noble Team. Well, I may as well complete Red Team. Well, I may as well get all the deluxe figures. I mean, I can't turn down a deluxe Jager Redomni. And suddenly... Dun, 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 dun. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> That's it. It's actually crazy, right? Like, I did not expect to get this much stuff. And the world of Halo, I kept on finding stuff at good prices. Big shout out to my boy Rodolfo for hooking me up with so much stuff. And I do have uh, a big Jazzware haul coming soon, including Tartarus and the Prophet of Mercy, and I do want to keep that one for sure. But the Spartan collection is really what entranced me. These are gorgeous, and like, the more I buy them, the more I just, I can see a clear improvement of quality over time. The first Spartan Collection figure I got was this June, and it's it's lacking in a lot of paint apps, not got much weathering, but then the most recent, Linda, has a super nice amount of weathering, a glorious metallic visor there, a great sniper rifle, the Arrow of Time. No, yeah. Norm Fang's the shotgun, isn't it? Oathsworn. Oathsworn is shotgun, Norm Fang is... Norm Fang yeah. is the sniper. Yeah, so suddenly I'm one member away from completing blue team, and I'm gonna get red team and, and noble, noble team. I've just got cat in the mail coming soon. You know, the first big hunt was for Yoroi. This thing, little little Tinkerbell shoes and all, uh, was, you know, the apple of everybody's eye in the mega community, in the Halo community. And it is a great figure. Pretty poor articulation, but it does stand out with great weathering. The red and gold just pops so well. The metallic visor, and then the, uh, the beautiful energy sword. But then it just kept on going. My recent haul was I scored the Infinite Chief and the Weapon. And this thing, like, if you're a Halo Infinite fan... Come on! I'm a serious collector, but I also uh, like to think about what is going to increase in, in value in the future. People are sleeping on the Spartan Collection. A full complete set of Noble Team of the Spartan Collection in five years time will be worth hundreds of dollars. If you take the McFarlane Noble Team now, or the Play Enix Noble Team, or Square Enix Noble Team, Play Arts, Square Enix, whatever. Crazy value increase. Like, the biggest one that's increasing value so far is Jerome. The first figure that I got that I was like, this is actually exceptional, is this George. And this was actually a birthday present from my cameraman, Strandy. Yay! And I just, I love it, it's so beefy. The chain gun has tons of paint apps. Again, these metallic visors are just so legendary. Great weathering, great proportions. Like, I, I just love it. We gotta talk real quick about the big star of the show, the King Pin, as you would. Jaeger Redomni. This thing is massive, dude. So it, good pie. Say good pie, yes. <laughs> it's just, it's enormous. It's enormous. The only thing is I'd like a little more detail on the eyes, but that's a tiny bit. I mean, ah, oh, ah. Oh, I mean, Jago Redomni, you know, there's a lot of theories that he's not dead in Halo Infinite. You never see his body. So we're gonna see this guy return and he's gonna become a crazy legacy character. 
this will be worth a lot of money in the future. Like, tell me this will not be worth a lot of money in the future. It currently retails, you can buy it on Amazon Warehouse for $30. This will definitely be over 100 in the future. I just, I absolutely love this Jager Adamni. And yeah, Noble 6 uh, was a great one as well. Uh, currently, the ones that are worth the most money are Noble 6 and Jerome, from my understanding. But even this Halo 4 Chief, I never thought I was gonna get this, but we found it on Black Friday for a good price. The gorgeous undersuit with this like honeycomb uh, effect, this like, it's so textured. All the Spartan Collection figures have these little pieces that pop out and then you can reverse them and it's a peg. So the peg is super subtle. The problem with the old McFarlane figures was the peg would snap or uh, you'd just lose the peg. But no, they always stay with you and you can see another one on the leg there. You pop it out, you flip it around and it's a little peg. It's just, it's ingenious. CA meetings, collecting anonymous. I am, my name is Simon, I have a problem. I love to collect Spartan collection, but you know what, I'm not gonna stop. They're also a pretty um, reasonable uh, collecting habit. Like there's really just four every six months, if not more. It's pretty sustainable to collect them. And the next wave has Alice as well. Um, and that gorgeous, uh, whatever the Cron Mage, uh, or whatever the new uh, Yoroi is. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan. Huge, huge fan. Let me know in the comments down below what jazzware you've managed to collect. This World of Halo is also great. Eshram is really the only one that I, I particularly needed. I got that from uh, Kevin Hurst. I see that it's pretty likely that we'll get an Eshram Spartan collection in the future. Also, let me know in the comments down below if this video has convinced you to maybe pick up a couple of Spartan collection. I genuinely think these will be worth a lot of money in the future. The only problem now is my suitcases are pretty maxed out. I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to get these home, but that's a worry for another day. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. Shout out to y'all, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And we'll see you next time. Check out part one with my MCX collection. The domain is signing off. And just because it wasn't over there, he does have a sealed one of those. Yeah, no, right I, that's, a, that's a sealed carter. Um, it's my only carter right now, but I got a full set of Noble Team unsealed out of box coming soon. So I thought I may as well keep that one sealed. See you next time.